Peace and blessings, everyone. Welcome to the Humble Servant Homestead. Guys, today we are out here now just getting ready to do a little thing here in the garden. We have done it previously here on the homestead, but I just want to let you guys know, don't waste space in your cornfield or wherever you're planting your corn at. Do not waste space, guys. So today we are here to share with you what we are getting ready to do here in our little cornfield. Now, in my hand right here, we have some rattlesnake pole bean that we will be planting inside of this cornfield here. Now, these beans right here is a vining bean and so what we will be doing we will be putting them right next to the corn so that way the corn can be a trellis for these beans to climb up okay now these beans right here is the first time trying them here on the homestead but we know that they will do just fine now this row in the front right here we leave it for demonstration purposes but right here in the back i have planted some of these beans here right at about five days now and we are having real nice germination so they are coming up real nice and they're just just start popping up throughout so all of them have not popped up just as yet okay but so far the corn they are coming up real good now remember the variety of corn that we planted inside of this uh, little field here is the Jimmy red corn okay and so we did have a little issue inside of this corn field here now I don't know if y'all remember those uh, bugs that I was telling you guys about and as a matter of fact I see one here and so these here are the bugs okay so I did a little research and these little suckers right here now you know anything that comes inside of the garden and do damage they are nothing but a sucker okay and we got to get them up out of here so what I've been doing to get these bugs out of this cornfield here is I have been coming in with the neem oil castile soap also diatomaceous earth and the spinosad and so guys what kind of, what was the name of those? Uh, the sugarcane beetle. Mm -hmm. So that's what the beetle is, the sugarcane beetle. And so after doing a little bit of research, come to find out, because we do have Bermuda grass in this area here where we have started our new garden. Now remember, this is a new spot, completely new spot. And so we did have that problem last year, actually, where they came in and start eating our corn and the corn was falling over, I had to come in and stake them up. Those are the same suckers, those uh, sugarcane beetles. So now that I've identified them, what we have been doing is coming down here and treating inside of the row, because they're coming for the <laughs> corn, right? And so we don't want them to damage our corn, so we'll come on in, we'll spread the diatomaceous earth, and we'll also um, spray the neem oil and castile soap to get rid of them. And so far it has been doing good. Now, if you all see in this area here, we do have some corn that is a bit shorter than the other ones. And that's simple reason why, because those bugs, they came in and they did a damage. I'm telling you, it was awful, okay? And so those are the ones that I replaced. And so they're coming real good. They're coming real good. So now, enough of the talking. Let's get on in here and planting these rattlesnake pole bean now like i said usually these beans right here they need to be running up something but we will be using the corn here today for them to run up and by the time the corn is ready the stalk will st still be in the up and the bean will be able to trellis up them until we are ready to harvest everything okay so now what we are going to pretty much do here is we're going to come right here next to the corn right close to the the root of the corn and so we're going to just go ahead and loosen that soil up and place that bean in cover it over now these beans right here guys you want to put them in one inch deep okay you don't want to go 
any deeper than that uh, unless you have a real nice loose soil but typically you want to put them in one inch deep now you think about this bean right here guys now this one bean right here this one bean okay and you think about even with the corn you plant one of them and guess what you get a whole lot of different other beans and corn that comes with it now this bean here is supposed to give you up to two pounds of beans from just one seed okay and so let's go ahead and do another little demonstration and the spacing that you want to put these beans here is one foot apart okay so right here we put one and so now I'm just gonna go ahead and loosen that soil and put another one right there and of course coming down here and planting so many things a uh, foot apart and stuff like that you pretty much can guesstimate how far it will be for one foot okay and we'll just cover that on in and we'll put another right here and right there okay so you guys kind of get the idea of what's going on here uh, on the homestead and like I said get the most out of your cornfield because we are utilizing it especially if you don't have that much space in your garden and you're planting your corn and you want to do beans and you don't have the space for the beans just go ahead and throw them throw them on in with the corn and you will have uh, a real good success and not only that you're harvesting corn but you will be harvesting beans as well now so far the corn is it's it's coming okay it's coming we did like I said we had a little hiccup but it's coming up nicely and that is what we want here but nonetheless guys uh, we're gonna go ahead and finish planting out the rest of these uh, beans here now keep in mind it is not too late for you to go ahead and plant some corn out in the yard if you have space and it's already been worked because we are now at the end of spring beginning of the summer and so you can yes put some more corn outside and of course you know that is one of the things that I want to encourage you guys and motivate you guys to get outside and plant something now for me it doesn't matter what it is that you are planting, long as it's something to nourish your body. Get outside and plant something, guys. And so, you know, now that everything is in the ground and planted, now as these things here grow, we want to come on in and give you all an update on what is going on here. Now, as y'all can see, what's going on with these corn, they are now uh, getting up there. Now just about two days ago I came in and I also came in and uh, side dress these corn here now that is one of the things that you want to keep in mind uh, of course some of these ones are a bit late but I still uh, side dress them anyway usually when you come in to side dress your corn you want to make sure they are at least about knee high or about a foot or so before you come on in and side dress now what that does for your corn it helps it to give another boost into the next phase okay and so once these corn start putting on our uh, ears uh, we'll come on in and side dress again so keep that in mind if you have your corn planted and they are at a certain height or they're starting to put on corn come on in and side dress them so you can have some real nice healthy corn okay and so as time goes on and as these corn start to, to do what they do, we'll come on in and give you all a bit more tips and stuff what we do here on the homestead. But guys, nonetheless, I just want to say thanks to each and every one of you all out there for stopping by the Humble Servant Homestead. Now, I know you all hear the little goats. <laughs> just a little side note. Uh, those are some of our wieners that we have down here in the bottom pas pasture. <laughs> And so they're missing mom and but nonetheless they're doing real good uh, real nice and healthy but guys 
that is it right there. I just want to say thanks to each and every one of y'all for stopping by the Humble Servant Homestead. Now, if this right here was helpful to you guys, go ahead, throw that thumbs up, like, subscribe, and also don't forget to share this video here because not only that it will be helping you, but it can be also helping someone out there and be beneficial for someone as well. But uh, nonetheless, we'll give y'all a real quick snapshot of our little youngsters over there. <laughs> all right. Yes, y'all making all this fuss. <laughs>